Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel where we explore the exciting world of data engineering. On this channel, we will cover a wide range of topics related to data engineering. You can see I have already created playlist related to that. We have AWS, Python, uh, Instruction 3, API, Air, API, Apache Airflow, Spark, Cellscript, Hadoop, Python, AWS, all this uh, playlist I have already created. We will also share practical tips and best practice for data engineering based on our own experience and, ex and industry expert. Whether you are just starting out in your data engineering career or you are a seasoned pro looking to stay up to date with the latest trends and tools, this channel is for you. So join us on this journey as we dive into exciting and ever evolving world of data engineering. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. So in my last video we have already learned how to install Apache Airflow in a Docker. We continue this this one. So we have we can see we have already installed Apache Airflow in the Docker and Apache Airflow is up and running fine. So in this video we will learn how to create your own DAG from the scratch. So we are going to start our new we are going to create new DAG so there is one exam there is many example DAG that I need to delete it so how we can delete the example DAG so you can go here and you can find the compose dot yml and if you see here there is one parameter called airflow core load example you have to make it from true to false once you make it false, save it and then you have to restart the container. So instead of restarting, I will make container down. So docker compose down minus b. So docker compose down minus b will this command is used to stop and remove all the container along with the network volume created to all everything that is mentioned in docker compose file. Down this parameter down flag stop and remove the container created by docker compose file while minus v flag remove the volume associated with the container by default docker compose does not remove volume so this flag is required if you want to remove the volume so if you see we, we are removing the volume so once it will be removed then then and also we have set these things false after that we will initialize our airflow container so this is the command here air, docker compose up airflow in it so this will initialize the airflow so we are having in our last video we are already we have already installed postgre and then we are making postgre at the meta store db so this is initializing and attaching the meta store db attach, attaching postgre to work as a meta store db so you can see this is attaching to airflow docker so it will take some time and it's completed but if you see this is accepted because because my volume is less means my memory is less so what i will do i will just come here and uh, i will start it again so it is running fine so once it's running fine i will start our other component like scheduler and uh, the browser web server and scheduler and trigger even though trigger is not required but i'm using a trigger as well so i'm starting it so we'll wait for some time it will work so you can see this is started but this is all already went into again status state We'll just start it again. Okay. So now, once I will refresh it, all the example DAG will remove from here. Let me log in. Okay. You now you can see there is no example DAG. So now how to create the DAG so we'll come here in our DAG folder and in DAG folder will create one file we'll give name as DAG1 
dot ui okay and as of now i will just copy paste the document copy paste this code from the document so just just simply blindly <coughs> copy this and paste it okay once you paste it and also before saving it just change this to 23 and make it yesterday day today is, you can see 22 4 so i'll just put 20 this is month the fourth month and date i'll put 20 Then this is schedule and it will run daily at 12 o'clock 12 p.m. Okay, so this is fine. Just save it once you save it and uh, come here and refresh it. It will take some time to reflect the DAG, but it will come again. We will wait for that. We will wait for DAG to display here. So the thing to do just you have to come to this uh, dag folder and create a new file and copy paste the command here so i will explain you each and every thing what and all the things we are doing here in our next video here just we are trying to show you how you can run the grid your first dag as you can see this is our again went down let me start it again this is happening because of my memory problem ram issue so anyway, I will move from this local setup to Apache to a AWS Apache Airflow service. So I will come with the next that video how to set up Airflow on uh, up Air AWS. Okay. So I started. I started it. Let Let's see it came or not. Okay. Wait for some time. Okay, so for some time I found this DAG here, it is running, it is displaying here. So let me show you UI here. So if you, if you see this is a grid, grid view, this is graph view. And uh, I have not triggered it yet. But if you, you can see this is the next run. Why? Because uh, if you come here, I have set this timing. I have set the timing here for 23rd. 20 20th April okay so 20th April 12 o'clock so it will run so and also you can see the code as well if you come here you can see the code okay so that so that's all for this video let me just uh, run it trigger it and come to the grid view you see this keep running for it ran for 21st it ran for 22nd okay and uh, 20 second okay come to graph view <coughs> now you, you can see this uh, output as well hello log <coughs> output is hello you can go to go again to the graph view now it will run at uh, 20 seconds so what happened here is whatever the date we have given here it started from that date and it keep running till it reached the all it till it completed all iteration so by mistake if you have given here if you copy it blindly from your code and if you see this is 20 second so it will keep running it so to there is one parameter called catch up. We will discuss it uh, later. So if you give catch up here, so it should start from to today. There are many parameters, so we'll learn it one by one. So this is a, a simple video where we have learned how to create the simple DAG and we have done it. And if you come here, you can see the log as well, here as well. You can see it ran it ran one, two, two times, actually three times. Okay, if you start, if you open it here, 
this is task ID airflow and uh, hello. So this is the airflow. This is just printing this simple Python task. And this is bash operator task. So first it is running hello. So this task is bash bash operator task. It is running echo hello. So it's printing hello. And this airflow task, this is simple function, Python task. <coughs> and this is printing airflow. <coughs> If you come here, open it and come to the log, you can see here it must be printing airflow somewhere. Then you can search anything. Okay. Control F. Air. print okay let me see in the log task get flow this is log same log log that we are seeing here you see this is the this is print get flow okay no problem we'll check it later and for this video this is that's it for this video we'll next video I will explain you how you can write the other tag, other type of tag. Thank you very much. And also, we will explain what is this task decorator and uh, what is bash operator everything. Thank you.